But I hope Father, we come to you today and we ask your blessings on this couple as they started this journey of life together. We pray that you will always be near to them, that their love will grow each day. Lord, that you will bless them in all the greatest blessings of life. We pray that they will, their love will grow from day to day, and as their family grows, Lord, that it will be a, a believing family that follows after you in your leadership. Thank you for them and the families that have brought them here. And we pray that you will bless them in every effort of life. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. on the counter and the news is banging on the door in the midst of these distractions it's a silence that's worth fighting for and there was a husband to love his wife as Christ loved his church and gave himself for it and the wife to be faithful to her husband even as the church is obedient to Christ in everything Thus the two, husband and wife, forsaking all others, become one flesh, one in thought, intent and hope, in all the concerns of the present life. I knew one day you'd be mine, and that day had finally come. I can't wait for forever with you. I promise to always be by your side, through it all, no matter what, challenges or obstacles or time I vow to always be your helping hand and best friend forever and always. I love you with everything in me, and you've been the best ever since day one. And I couldn't ask for better. I can't wait for you forever, and thank you for everything you've done. During our life together, I vow to always love you, to always appreciate you, to always be your biggest fan to always love and cherish our home together, to always respect you and always be true to you. I vow to love you unconditionally and to stand with you no matter what comes our way. I can't wait to spend 100 more years right by your side where I belong. Love you straight to own stuff. I'll love you forever and always. I'll never be able to express that enough. I hope you believe that every time I say it, you mean the world to me and I can't wait to spend forever with you. With that being said, let's go get married and have some fun on our honeymoon. I will find you in the evening, alone inside your beat up shirt. Logan, you will place this ring on the third finger. Maybe it's the left hand. Spit out. <laughs> Spit on it. Give this ring to Haley as a token of your love for her. Just like I did. Will you, Haley, take this ring as a token of Logan's love for you? And will you wear it as a token of your love for him? Can you, Haley, give this ring to Logan as a token of your love for him? Do you, Logan, take this ring as a token of Haley's love for you and you wear it as a token of your love for her? I will. Having pledged your faith in and love for each other, and having sealed your solemn marital vows by giving and receiving the rings, acting in the authority vested in me by the law of this state, and looking to heaven for divine sanction, I pronounce you, husband and wife, in the presence of God and these assembled witnesses. Therefore, let all men take care in the sight of God that this holy covenant shall ever remain sacred. You may kiss your bride. I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Logan Stein. when we were younger, so it wasn't a surprise for us to be sent to our rooms. 
Once into our rooms, Haley and I would be furious at one another. However, this wouldn't last long. We would make up with one another before we had permission to leave our bedroom, so we came up with a brilliant idea. I would sneak into her bedroom so we could talk and play, but Haley would get me to sit in her pile of stuffed animals, where she would then cover me up and would hide me. <laughs> we would never get caught if they didn't know I'm in the room, right? Once I started school for the first time, I wanted to share this new knowledge of learning with my sister. So we would set up a small chalkboard and learning materials up in the bedroom where I would pretend to be the teacher and Haley would be my student. You could say that I was a tough teacher, but I guess it helped Haley in the end because once she started school herself, she informed the teacher that she didn't know why she was there because she already knew all that she needed to know. They were best friends in high school. I remember countless times when Logan would come by the house to pick her up and they'd head off to hang out in town. But when Haley went off to college, that chapter seemed to close. However, fate had other plans. It just so happened that both Haley and Logan ended up in Florida during the same week. Pure coincidence. They ran into each other on the beach, and from what I've been told, they have spent that night walking along the shore, catching up, and rekindling that connection. By the time they got back home, they were already dating, and the rest, as they say, is history. With all that being said, Logan, now you know what you've gotten yourself into. But no, in all seriousness, Logan, from the moment you re-entered Haley's life, it was clear that you brought out the best in her. I couldn't have asked for a better partner for my sister. As a big sister, I've always found it hard to think of any man was enough for my younger sister. But I know in my heart she has found the one. And I have full confidence that you will always take care of her and protect her. Thank you for loving her as deeply and completely as you do, and for becoming part of our family. We're lucky to have you, and we love you. It's funny, I remember when me and him were younger, and I almost held a grudge against his mom and daddy for living in Tennessee. I tried my best to figure out a way for him to move to Alabama and move in with, it, move in with us so we could be together and hang out every day. I even told him that, <clears throat> I even told him that I would help him find a job in Huntsville to work after he got out of tech school. I guess Haley ruined that for us, so. <laughs> I wish y'all the best and the happiest marriage. And Haley, I, I hope you know what you got yourself into. <laughs> and the last thing I wanna say is this. If there's one thing I think we can all agree on, it's that if your daddy was here to see the man you became and the responsibilities you took on and the hard worker you are, I have no doubt in my mind he'd be proud of you. I love you both. To end my speech, I want to share this clock. During the wedding ceremony, I looked at the time you guys shared your first kiss as a couple. It was 4.20. I stopped time on this clock to represent that exact moment. Anytime you guys are confused in life, frustrated, reminiscing on the good times or anywhere in between, I want you to go, both go to this and remember the feeling you felt in that exact moment. Once again, congratulations to you two, I love you.